Welcome back. Uh, you might notice something a bit different today. Um, anyway, these opinions, the following that I share, are my own opinions, not the opinions of anybody I collaborate with. Uh, at least none of the organizations I collaborate with. These are my own opinions. Um, so that's my disclaimer. Um, so... A little background information here. The Collins Dictionary is a major publisher of educational language and geographic content and have been publishing innovative, inspiring, and informative books for over 200 years. Uh, Collins Online Dictionary and resource uh, our reference resources draw on the wealth of reliable and authoritative information about language thanks to the extensive use of their corpora their vast databases of language, both in English and in other languages. And yeah, the online Collins Dictionary is an excellent website. Great resource. I've only barely used it. Because this organization is so authoritative, it's important that they do things correctly. And with that in mind, um, again, following our my own opinions, not those of the organizations or people I collaborate with, um, although some people, some reasonable minds may agree. So I'm not even going to bother sharing the offensive material published by Twitch Interactive today, uh, but it did cause me to do a bit of research. And in said research, uh, I came across the following page uh, on the Collins Online Dictionary website. Um, note, this is a uh, pending investigation, um, and I went ahead and immediately flagged this after having done my bit of research about this and discussed this with reasonable minds, because I think that it is important to get things correct here. So um, let me just try to focus on the heart of the matter instead of all the other things that are popping up on the screen there. There we go. So yeah, this is pending investigation. This is not officially in the Collins Dictionary. Um, so I have, there was an option to flag this suggestion as inappropriate, and I have flagged it as inappropriate, such that it will be reviewed by the site administrator. I've done at least the bare minimum that I need to do um, in this case. And what's so controversial here is the insinuation that neologism is required to indicate uh, women plus trans women. We do not need this dichotomy in our language. It will cause strife. There is a word that includes trans women, and that word is women. So um, I would encourage correct use or Correct is a difficult word to use here, but uh, come on, like proper use of our English lexicon um, by using language in a disciplined manner, it is possible to advance dialogue in meaningful directions. I'm reminded of The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, where uh, the children had asked the professor whether Lucy was lying. And the context there is that, well, either she's insane or perhaps she's telling the truth. I mean, it, you can't have, if you trust that Lucy here is not insane, uh, then she's telling the truth. And what comes from that, uh, the professor remarked in this offhanded fashion, what do they even teach at these schools these days? Do they teach logic or something to that effect? And his point is that by rigorously using a discipline in the way we think about our thoughts and the way we use our terms, although his focus wasn't on terminology, it was just on just having a clear understanding of philosophy and ability to reason about things. But um, by having such clarity of thought, it's possible to advance meaningful, constructive dialogue instead of uh, the sort of offensive content promulgated by Twitch today.
again, that's my own opinion. Obviously not the opinion of Twitch that I'm broadcasting this through. So, um, but yeah, there's other suggestions as to the reason for this particular term. Um, so another possible suggestion is to say that this word does not end in M-E-N, that it has its own extension, uh, which is rather short-sighted, but anyway. Um, so this is one insinuation, but more popularly, this word is used to include, uh, to, to mean that we're trying to include all women, as opposed to just using the word women to advance such a concept. So I flag this as inappropriate. I had discussion with reasonable minds. Reasonable minds do agree. This is not the opinion of Lee Chess or any other organization that I affiliate with. Obviously, it's not Twitch's opinion either. It's just my own opinion. Um, so this is the first part of what I'm sharing with you here today. And then I took the chance to peruse uh, Collins' the website. And they have a Contact Us form here. And so, yeah, their website offers free blog content, etc. Um, and I read through their FAQ as suggested here. And their FAQ suggests that if I find offensive or inappropriate content, um, that I should flag it as such. And I don't think this pertains just to the blog, but to the entire website, which they generously maintain. And I'm thankful that they provide this website under which I could find whether or not they are considering adding this word to the lexicon, because this provides me an opportunity to provide feedback. So I shall provide feedback here. Uh, so that other web page we were looking at uses the word suggestion. So I use the word suggestion here. I include the offensive term and I uh, explain my rationale. And just because I'm using a strongly worded letter here, does not mean that I need to be offensive to them. It does not mean I require a ton of writing. It just means that I need to explain my argument um, in the strongest possible terms, but still be respectful. And so here is the argument that if you're going to add this word to the lexicon, um, that this indicates the neologism for women plus trans women is necessary. And therefore, it makes this word that we've used all the time in the past into a slur. So I would argue against its inclusion in um, if, to whatever extent this word can be reviewed in this, or this suggestion can be reviewed and removed so much the better or flagged as we're just not going to accept this term um, because, yeah, the, this suggestion that we need a term to include trans women who are in fact women is it's just offensive. So um, this is, I think, how I'm going to file the report. Just letting you all know, trying to do my civic duty uh, based on my best understanding of things. It's possible there might be some things I've not considered. I have uh, done some research. I've consulted with as many reasonable folks as I could rapidly get a hold of here as the story is quickly evolving as Twitch is pushing their own narrative. So um, just want to keep you all in the loop as to what I've been up to. Uh, thanks for your interest. And I uh, guess we'll talk again sometime soon.